Right, one of my lessons just phoned to say I can't make it, so I'm going to do a quick video while I've got time between my next lesson. Let's do this. We'll keep it as simple as possible. It's just going to be a quick video on how to how to straighten up ball flight. Might be more penetrating ball flight straighter. Just let's just let's go for it, shall we? Every time I take my jumper off to check my hair's alright. Perfect. So we're going to do, we're going to do a quick drill, lovely evening for it. A quick drill on how to straighten up ball flight. Just a little drill that you can increase the length of your swing to make sure your ball flight's straighter. We get a little bit rage now and again, a little bit too into it, a little bit, a little bit eager, a little bit keen, swing harder, faster, longer. Let's reduce all that. So I have six iron in hand. I'm going to play some shots. Tommy Fleetwood's the main man for this. So you can look at length of Tommy's swing. He's short back, he's short through, and it's done. He's so straight, he's so accurate. And he's got he's got this ability. I, I didn't realise how good Tommy was until about a year, two years ago. I knew he was there or thereabouts, but it just gets better and better. His ball striking is so pure and the flight's so straight. So he's short back, he's back to here, through to here. Very, very good. That's it. And he pumps out there miles. His swing being shorter is more efficient, so his smash factor, which is the equation between club head speed into ball speed, um, is more efficient. He's able to control strike a lot better because his club's not going so far back. If you think about a short putt compared to a long putt, if, you, if you've got a putt from a foot, you're going to hold it more chance of that than one from six feet because the length of swing's changed. Once the length of swing changes, then it's harder to make contact between sweet spot and golf ball. So I like Tommy's idea, the fact that he kind of punches everything. Grew up in Buckdale, I believe, so there's a lot of wind shots. Nice one, Tommy. So there's a lot of wind, punchy ones like that. It looks a bit dark in here today, isn't it? So much sunlight coming in the way, sorry about that. So we're going to do a little drill. We're going to hit maybe four shots with four lengths of swing to try and get the ball flight straighter. So if I putt from a foot, it's going to be much easier than putting from 12 feet. So let's set up in full position for six iron. And I'm going to carry this maybe 30 yards. So I'm just going to go short back, short through. I'm doing the full motion of the body turning to get the feel for this. So short back, short through. And I've finished there, nice straight line, nice flat left wrist, and you can see my belt buckles to target. I've actually turned through on that. I've only hit the ball 30 yards or so, but I've got the full motion in play. Dead simple, ball flight dead straight, hit in the middle of the golf club every time. Easy. Let's now, let's now increase this length of swing. Let's maybe go, well, let's, let's maybe go 100 yards, 80 yards, somewhere about there, so we're a little bit further back. I've no gauge as to how far back and how far through. I'm just building the swing as I go. It's just all about increasing momentum, increasing the length of swing, therefore that's going to take into consideration the shot or the length of shot you're going to hit. I can't even speak today. So probably 80 yards. Again, full setup. A little bit further back, a little bit further through. Feeling the body turn though. Excellent. So that's carried probably as far as that. 75. That's carried, yeah, that's carried. So that's carried 100 yards. Mostly from turn of the body. So I'm trying to feel that finished position. I'm not just swinging my arms and stopping here. I'm feeling the full turn of the body just to get the ball to go 100 yards. It's probably flying about 90 to be honest. Go a step further, let's get this ball flying out there. So now we're sort of more three quarter shot or half half swing if you like. Here, through, feeling that increased length. There's no extra power being put in, it's just more turn, more turn. I'm not swinging any harder or faster, I'm just purely turning further and turning more, creating this golf swing. The ball flight's getting a little bit longer, a little bit more penetrating. I'm only going back to here this time and through to here.
It's really good, so we're carried again about another 30 or yards or so. That's probably about 130, 140. I hit 6 and 180. Again, just feeling the increased turn. 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 To feel that I'm still, I'm, not, I'm nowhere near full, full follow through. That's, that's not far off my full distance actually. Just more efficient. I'm catching the ball much more at the middle of the golf club because I'm in control of it. I'm playing within my strengths. Big long swing up to here and then up to here. It's going to be harder to make contact at the middle of the golf club, so distance is going to be changed or hard to achieve a consistent distance. It's also ball flight path is going to change, so therefore I'm going to get a bit more coverture. Whereas on this one, swing three, back to here, turn back to here, we get nice straight shots and good crisp contact. Great. I think about trying to get back to an L shape between left arm and club shaft, and then through to an L shape, right arm club shaft. Okay, that capital L, that capital L. That's where I'm getting to. Back into that's the feeling I've got in this. It's my third leg. So back to L, through to L. Feeling real is very different because there's the L. It's up here. Good go. And now we'll do the full Tommy swing. So I'm going, this is basically three quarters back and three quarters through. But I've built myself up to that, so I've got strike coming out the middle. I know where I'm going with this. There, turn there. It's excellent. Very good. Again, three quarter back, three quarter through, just past L to just past L. It's easy to control. If you're struggling with your irons or having a bad time on the golf course, come to the range and do this. Just set your balls up, hit those four lengths of swing with your six iron, eight iron, whatever club you use for your warm ups and your, your practice and just get the feel for that soft straight ball flight. So you're really just trying to make simple contact between the middle of the golf club and the golf ball, but reducing it down to your shortest length and then increasing it from there. It's very easy for us to have a bad day on the golf course and then go up to the practice range and the next day go to the practice range. We're just trying to hit full six irons all the time. That's not going to work. You've got to zone it all in Tommy style. So that was just a quick tip in between my lessons. Thanks very much for subscribing. If you have subscribed, if you've not, come on, click the button there, eh? have a word. Um, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, it's all linked below. And thanks for watching.